last week we saw a chilling end to an otherwise fantastic NLW 24-7 title match after Seth Rollins had won back the 24-7 title from Jay White that man the Undertaker came onto the stage kidnapped Rollins wife Becky Lynch and said you can have her back under one condition give me a 24-7 title match here and it looks like it's going to happen oh and there she is for goodness sake get your hands off her Viscera holding Becky and now that is the music of Seth Rollins a much different demeanour from Rollins here tonight the Messiah is here it is the Ministry versus the Messiah here tonight and look out it's the Authors of Pain Seth Rollins has enlisted his followers the Messiah's followers oh no though has Becky held but now the Messiah attacking the Ministry leader as the bell sounds for this 24-7 title match Rollins defending against The Undertaker but the most important thing is Becky Lynch is safe as Rollins tells the AOP to protect Becky Lynch the Messiah getting a, his followers oh and now there's a chair shot from The Undertaker the chair off the skull and now we get back to the action at hand with Seth Rollins the Messiah going up against The Undertaker and The Undertaker look out for Rollins over the top with a tope con hello The Undertaker has competed for the 24-7 title before but I don't think we've ever seen him this sadistic this desperate and there's a chokeslam turned around into the DDT on the steel stairs and likewise Rollins a much different demeanour than that of last week last week he was high-fiving and stage diving tonight he is angry he is an angry messiah as he looks for something through the table with a backdrop onto the apron Seth Rollins looking to avenge his wife who was taken by The Undertaker last week and The Undertaker did it A to get into the mind of Rollins and B to get a 24-7 title match here tonight and both have worked but Rollins is going to make sure that The Undertaker pays there's a sling blade but The Undertaker sits right back up and that spooked Rollins and now Rollins with a kendo stick but a boot from The Undertaker The Undertaker is evil and tonight unleashing that evil onto Rollins The Undertaker looking for a dive but a chair shot stops him Seth Rollins with the chair and again off the spine of The Undertaker what incredible ingenuity to stop the dive with the steel chair shot and now Rollins running off the ropes here it comes Tope Suicida but The Undertaker catches him and throws him over the announce table what insane power from The Undertaker to throw Seth Rollins over the announce table and now the barbed wire board brought into play as Rollins lands on the top and a clothesline Rollins with a clothesline and goes in for the cover with a kick out from The Undertaker the Phenom kicking out at two remember in these 24-7 title matches no DQ false count anywhere and Seth Rollins with a frog splash here's the cover again but The Undertaker sits up the Undertaker sits up with Rollins and now on his feet Tombstone coming no goes behind and there's a ripcord knee but The Undertaker stays on his feet and another ripcord knee but The Undertaker doesn't fall onto the barbed wire third time's the charm no 
Choke slam onto the barbed wire. And that has to be piercing the spine of Rollins. In for the cover, but Rollins kicks out. Somehow, Rollins still in the contest. We'll take a look at Rollins here, who is in a lot of pain following the choke slam. And now, last right, maybe no. Turned around to the poison spike Rana. And Rollins so quick with a buckle bomb to the Undertaker. And now the curb stop. But the Undertaker falls to the outside before Rollins can get the pin. Seth Rollins so close. But the Undertaker, he rolled out of the ring, whether it was on purpose or not. And it's up to you to decide. There's a chair shot again. And the Undertaker, he's knocked out. The Undertaker is out on that announce table. And now Rollins on the top rope. And Seth Rollins dropping the elbow. Crashing through the announce table. And in for the cover. But the Undertaker kicks out. What a war for the NLW 24-7 title. Absolutely incredible what these men are willing to do for that championship. Aside from the kidnapping stuff last week, it was absolutely despicable. And there's an elbow through the table. And now, Rollins has the Undertaker set up. Curb stop, no! Flips up! Tombstone coming. No, roll through instead and a kick out again. And a kick to the face of Undertaker. Now Seth Rollins goes to the top rope. Looking for another diving maneuver. Phoenix splash, no. Caught into the last ride. The last ride to the Seth Rollins who is holding his back and the Messiah is down. And what is the Undertaker thinking here? He's got Rollins held! Tombstone through the table! Jumping Tombstone! And the Undertaker is the new 24-7 champion. The Undertaker has done it. The Undertaker is the brand new 24-7 champion. And Seth Rollins got absolutely spiked on the way to Undertaker's victory. We'll take a look at the replays of this insane match. Stopping the dive with the chair. Then the Undertaker caught the dive of Rollins, threw him to the crowd. The choke slam on the barbed wire wasn't enough. That last ride gets turned into the poison spike Rana. Rollins was willing to risk it all there. And then the curb stomp turned into the tombstone position. And that Phoenix splash into the last ride was the last ride for Seth Rollins. We've got a jumping tombstone hit through the table. And now Becky Lynch here to help Rollins. And The Undertaker couldn't care less that Becky Lynch is out here now. All he wanted was that 24-7 title and now he has got it. NLW 24-7 has just taken a very dark turn with The Undertaker as the brand new champion. Thank you to OG Hazard over on Patreon for requesting this match. If you'd like to request a 24-7 title match, head over to my Patreon. The link is in the description.